Christopher Art and golf is the perfect combination for mixed media artist Christopher Obetz, aka CR. His latest work revolves around the it's art the history kind of, of Hands at the Masters. Mixed. Christopher is back with us this year to discuss his new project here in the mixed studios. It's good to see you again this hey. year. Cliff and Zane, it's great to be back in the, here with you. I see you. So far away, but that's because we have so much going on here right now. <laughs> we have your art. Uh, so how are you enjoying tournament week so far? Oh, it's amazing to be back here. Yesterday, the crowds are incredible. Um, you just even though no one's talking, you feel the energy. Right. It's so many people in our area, too, and it's always nice to see everyone Absolutely. come together and have you back here in Augusta. Last year, you were here honoring uh, Bernhard Longer with Mercedes. This year, it's a focus on the hands of golfers and others. So tell us, how did this idea come about? Um, hands are obviously a, very important to all of us. And when I originally discovered the Ravielli collection years ago, um, knowing about the Sports Illustrated and Ben Hogan's work with Anthony Ravielli creating the most important book, The Five Fundamentals of Golf, the hands were on the cover. Mm -hmm. And it was years ago when I was researching and following golf art history and I re realized that the importance of hands, not just in golf, but in life. So I've kind of expanded my series to talk about the hands of love, the hands of hard work, the hands of giving. Etc. And you bring up uh, Hogan, of course, and Ravielli. Uh, well, that collaboration for that sports illustration. Uh, I mean, people still read that book for yeah. golf instruction too. Uh, that cover really inspired you for this uh, project, correct? It did. I mean, even even finding the original sketch that was created when Ravielli he sat with Ben Hogan and, and he photographed him. This was the first part of the process was right. photographing him, and then he sketched him, and then he would make a scratch board, which would be the final project. Um, what I'm doing now is fo I'm following that same art historical process where I photograph a legend in, legend in golf or sports, and then I use that as the basis for my painting and the ultimate final piece. I love this because it really goes deeper than what you see. There's True. more meaning, as you were saying, just behind those hands. Um, tell us about your personal series on the hands and what you want people to take away when they see what you've created. Sure. The thing for me, celebrating the past in golf is very important in telling that story and like the Bobby Jones hands over here too. Mm -hmm. So those are, I mean, the most important hands to Augusta National. Um, but then today, what I like to do is tell the story of living hands and living legends, which is where I'm going, kind of now taking that journey with you know, the modern PGA Tour and, and also golf legends who I haven't had a chance and are now working with. Uh, and speaking of golf legends, you did have a chance to work with one. You accomplished quite a feat yesterday. Tell us about what happened at the National concerning your project. Well, yesterday my heart went pitter-pat when um, Jack and Barbara Nicholas invited me into their private room at, at Augusta National, and they were so gracious, and I'm obviously very close to them and what he's done for the game of golf and what they've both done outside of golf. So I was given the opportunity and not since Andy Warhol has Jack sat for an artist. So ironically, next week they're selling the original painting that Warhol did of Jack. So now I'm going to, um, I photographed Jack's hands as he held the club and he showed me how he uses his hands. And then together I was able to um, photograph both of them holding hands in a way that they're united as a couple, as a, united for what they do for giving. Amazing. Absolutely isn't that, amazing. Isn't that something? It's like, it's like you're standing on I know, that type were you, stuff. Were you expecting that to happen at Augusta National? Or you, I'm sure you were hoping, but. Well, when I was when I was told that it was a possibility, you know, until that last minute and uh -huh. making it happen and that coming through and after it was over, I, I kind of just melted. I didn't even know what to do. I'm sure I would not be able to hold the camera <laughs> yeah, upstairs you're shaking. if I was doing that. Uh, real quick, we've got about a minute left here, but there's sure. also a thing that you also do. You do charity work as well yes. with your artwork and you do it for First Tee. Tell us quickly about the, uh, the artwork that you do for that. So I'm extremely passionate about the First Tee, not just in my own community, but in all communities. And last year, I did a project with hands where um, I um, teach the um, values of golf through the Ben Hogan golf swing, you know, having a follow through, having an impact. And so I teach golf and golf art history, and then we paint and putt together, and it gives me a chance. So last year, I wanted to have them paint their own hands, which cr we created a painting that then went off to auction and raised thirty thousand dollars for the charity which we donated a hundred percent back that's what it's all about right there exactly. amazing giving work back. giving hands giving yeah. hands <laughs> loving hands like you know dog day hug your dog with exactly. your hands there you yeah. go. think about how pe i really want people to in 
think about how they use their hands and why they're important. You know. Uh, yes, I do know. <laughs> Hello. Yes, exactly. He misses his hand. I right do now. miss my hand. Uh, Christopher Obetz, popartcr.com is where you can find more information on Chris. And uh, it's so good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, I'm Thanks so glad to be here. The Thanks best. for coming back. We'll see you next year. I hope so. Definitely. Can't wait. All right, cool.